Hey everybody, this is VG Logic, and today we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Klonoa 2 on the PS2. In our last video, we finished uh, all the air, all the missions, should I say, in the Volk area, the Volk City area, which is just around here. And uh, Leorina's got a ring now, so I'm sure in this bit here, which will be an inevitable cutscene, I'm sure we're going to hear a little bit about that. Let's get to it. Okay, well, you heard the man, I guess. So we're gonna go to this arc, see if it still works. For some reason, because I didn't really remember much of this game, uh, it's been such a long time since I actually went around and played it. I do remember bits of this stage. I think this is where the either the difficulty ramps up a bit, or this is actually quite a long stage. Uh, maybe a bit of backtracking. So we'll wait. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, this is this this is coming back to me. So yeah, it's a big ass stage. Uh, three engines. We've got to sort of well make them all start up. Of course, I think that bit in itself is pretty straightforward. But I think just navigating this place is um, is going to be the real thing. And also making sure we save everybody. We've we've done really well with that. You know, we haven't really been. Oops. I haven't really been pursuing them sort of too hard, I wouldn't say, but you know, we've been thorough enough that we've picked up everybody so far, which is a good good place to be, no doubt. 
Alright, let's just line up here. Okay, so... Also, I think... I've got to pay attention to where the checkpoints are on this stage, too. If there's backtracking, sometimes in Klonoa... Uh, it'll put two checkpoints right next to each other. Now, whereas you might think, oh, well, I'll just hit, go hit them both. Uh, they're really designed so you hit one the first time you're in that area, and then you hit the second one the second time you're in that area as well. So just something for us to bear in mind. Let's land in the cannon. There we go. Well, this is elaborate. <laughs> okay, well, we know how these things work, of course. So let's just shoot that. Actually, do we know how these things work? Have I explained these yet? Have we seen them in this playthrough? Um, just in case I haven't, I'm going to repeat it. Uh, basically... These guys, um, these enemies that I just chucked against the wall, uh, there's sometimes crystals about um, that sort of block the way you need to go. Uh, those crystals can be different colours. They can be white, blue, or red, I think. And each time you hit an enemy with, with that enemy that, that glows... God, I'm explaining this so badly. But yeah, basically, you throw it at enemies, it changes colour, and whatever colour you've made it change corresponds to what... Uh, crystals you can explode with them. There you go. That's that. That's what they do. Wow, that was appalling. <laughs> okay, but uh, I'm sure before long we'll see for ourselves and um, you know, I'm sure me showing you how they work is probably a lot better than me explaining it. Alright, so here's perfect opportunity. So we've got our, our guy here. We'll throw him at one enemy. He'll go white or, or yellow. Throw him at another enemy and he'll go blue. And if there was a third, it'd go red. Um, but blue means we can now get through a blue crystal. Now, one thing that is really interesting about these, and it does add a bit of, I suppose, depth to our puzzle solving. Um, as you can see, there's a pie in the window. We can't get to the pie with an enemy normally. So what we will do, you'll notice that every time you chuck one of these guys, of course, it leaves your hands while you're doing it. So if you chuck it, and then go down, that happens, and that's how you do it. So yeah, these things do add a little bit of depth to um, some of the puzzle solving that will be going on later on. I always bring one just in, you know, just in case, although it might not be necessary at all. I've actually never done that before. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, if you're switching area entirely, then it doesn't follow you along. Okay, good to know. Right, okay. But yeah, as you can see, this, this level is um, a lot more sort of labyrinthine, if you like. This is important that we try and remember where we're going. As now, another thing I do really like about the Klonoa games generally, I mean, don't get me wrong, the first few stages that we've done have been as linear as you like. Uh, but this, this stage... Is such a big contrast to everything else we've just done. You know, there's going to be backtracking, there's going to be a bit of puzzle solving. They kind of have a really good way with their level design where they can just fit decent elements of everything into them. Right, and as well as talking about with our um, checkpoints. I don't think, think we can reach the top one. That's fair enough, though. That's purely there. I'm pretty sure later on that thing will spin and we'll be able to activate the checkpoint there. We've got our key, if I remember right. The door for such a thing was over here. I'm surprised we didn't get hit there. I think it was just underneath those cog things. These cog things, yeah, there we go. And let's just try and be semi-vigilant for guys to save. Ultimately, it's a lot of backtracking if you screw that up. Okay, now I think this is going to be the reactor. The reactor. I'm still in, st I'm still in Volk City here. Uh, no, uh, this is going to be the area where we sort of start the engine up, no doubt. Okay, and how do we do such a thing? Well, 
the red, I believe, would probably have something to do with one of those. There we go. And I guess it's just picking the correct order to do this in. I think this is the correct order. So I'll still smash both of them, wait for him to get to the top of his flight, do that. I do need to jump when we chuck this. I'm not going to, let's just see. Oh, did I miss? Oh no, I didn't miss. Okay. That's how you do it then. So you just stand in front. Sick, let's get out of here. Oi, come here. There we go. Okay, now with any luck, that area that we were in just a second ago where I said, oh, there's two checkpoints. Um, hopefully, that will be working for us and we can progress. Well, he's just certainly moving, so that's encouraging. And there we go. Oh, you went here a second ago, were you? Great, so far so good. And I guess we'll grab that checkpoint this time. It's a bit of a backtrack otherwise. And there's a guy over there, I do wonder why. Is he just here for the fun of it? Hmm, okay, well, part of me thinks I might have missed something, but we're going to press on. Oh, well, there you go. First of three. You know, I did see this in the in the distance a second ago. I'm glad it's just a cannon, not something we have to go get. Okay, anyway, moving swiftly on. Yes, I'll have that checkpoint. And where's this going to go? I'll tell you what, I'm going to check just here first. You know, so far every time I've checked that, um, we haven't found anything. It might have just been a first level thing. Okay, so we need a key to get through this room. Anything down here? Just some hearts. We'll save those for later. Oh, I balls that up. There we go. Okay, that worked out really well. And, okay, we've got a key. Now, um, there's a guy behind here. Obviously, we can't shoot him yet. And there's enemies all over the place. I presume we need to come back this way then. Question is, can I jump this? Just, there you go. Okay, there's a pie. Is there a guy to save? There is. Considering how long I seem to remember this stage being, um, I think we must have saved everyone so far, at least. Ah, I thought I was going to do a bit better than that. That's okay. So we've got our key. And the key was down the hole, wasn't it? At least I hope it was, or I'm going to edit all this bit out and you'll never have seen me screw up like this. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is definitely the way to go, I should think. Just jump over real quick. Nothing here. Before long, I might actually stop doing that. Although, thinking about it, if we do miss something because I haven't done that, I won't be happy. <laughs> Okay, so we've got another one of these reactors. Similar kind of puzzle as last time, no doubt. Um, but we need three enemies. And this is just one. Alright, where's number two? Do we have number two around here? Ah, there's the second one. 
Now what I'm going to do, this doesn't look too difficult, we'll just chuck him here and chuck him in, if I can time it. Was that him? No, it wasn't. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, well we know how to do it anyway, it's not difficult to get to get the uh, crystal red, it's just... There we go. Right, let's try that again, so I want to be a little bit higher when I let it off. Oh, come on, that was a direct hit. There you go. Awesome, let's get out of here. Let's do a little bit of backtracking. Let's try not to get turned around. I know in the grand scheme of things, the map layout is still quite quite simple and there really is only one way to do it all um, but I do still sometimes get a bit lost in these games um, you know even though I know where I'm sort of roughly going it's not always enough oh there we go that was good <laughs> all right okay so there was a guy to shoot down here there we go and I think our first shot let's not miss I missed <laughs> No need for that, that was embarrassing. Okay. There's number one. And he's in the background too? Yeah, he is. That was perfect, actually. <laughs> Alright, now, we haven't screwed up yet. We haven't wasted a continue, and we have never had to go back to a checkpoint, but I am just going to go grab this one just in case because it'd be the uh, that's what will happen, I'll screw up once or is this actually the way to go? no it's not just for gems and stuff but gems and stuff are good yeah, I'm just thinking the one time we don't bother you know, activating a checkpoint is the time we get cocky, is the time we lose but that's two out of three engines I'm really pleased with the progress we're making on this stage right now. That was a little dicey. <laughs> there we go. Alright, now this is a... Uh... I think I know what needs to happen. Yeah, so... I can't really actively hit this switch from here, so I'll let the bomb guy do it. Put them a bit closer. There you go. Okay, well, great so far, I guess. Oh, more bomb guys. I'm going to blow you up because you're going to annoy me. Mayhaps. <laughs> Okay, now, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't just give us a bomb guy. Unless there was a good use for that. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go this way. I know there's a door to our left and that is probably the way. But this might be the way where we save something. It is. Okay, yeah, well, of course. We saved a guy. Absolutely worth it. And now we'll go back through our door. I think we can just run. I'll tell you what, let's grab him anyway. I mean, could be useful. Who knows? I don't think the puzzles tend to be that fiendish, you know, dragging things from another screen. But since you can do it, we'll have a look, won't we? Nah, it's not. Nothing like this. If I don't think, I'm sure if we need one, there'll be a, there'll be another bomb guy somewhere. All right, is that a guy to save? It is. Ooh, nice. Five. All right, our key door is down here. Uh, let's have a little look. I'm guessing it's this way. Let's go try and remember. We're sort of going left 
across the screen now instead of right. So that means we need to go right to come back here. Nothing here? Okay, well, let's get on with it. Okay, and again, we've got a little scenario with two checkpoints, so we'll certainly be coming back here. But so far, so good. I have a feeling if we land in that water, we are dead. So let's let's not land in the water, right? Ooh, one of you guys. Okay, well, how am I going to get to you? Maybe I don't right now. Okay, now I have, can't help but shake the feeling that I'm missing something here. Um, or I've gone too far without triggering something? Maybe not. I could just be paranoid. Well, well there's a key, so maybe this was the way to go. No, it just seemed like we'd just been in a lot of sort of spaces and just got on with it without anything actually happening. If that makes any sense. All right, well, we've got our key. We're coming from this direction. I'm pretty sure the key room is the next one. It's just a bit more to the left, if memory serves. Now, we need to get up there somehow at some stage to... We'll work that out in a minute. What can we work out now? So obviously that's not too difficult. Maybe we just catch it on the way up? Hey, look at that. I'm hoping our sixth guy might be in that. I don't care about double gems, I really don't. Um, is that our last guy? No, it's not. Oh, Alright. It's a shame. I had a real feeling it probably was. Anyway, moving swiftly on, we'll go grab our key door. going really well. So this is to our third and final engine, I guess. And, right, so, we've got a guy down here, which so we're going to do it. Jump up here real quick before it triggers. Gonna wanna do pretty much the same on this side, like so. And then just hit this guy. There we go. How about that? Great, this is going dead smooth so far. I'm really pleased with how this is all going. Let's go back. I'm aware we are still one guy short, though, so I'm hoping we can catch him on the way. Okay, we'll go back up this way. So I think we did go past some bits over here that weren't moving, that maybe should have been. And I need you to go through the cannon, down right? There we go. Alright, and uh, yeah, we'll of course activate the checkpoint this time. Alright, so the real difference then, these things are moving now where they were stationary beforehand. I still think the water will kill us in one. I do think maybe we need this guy though, so let's just try and do this without using the enemy to double jump. That was good. And there we go. Nice. And uh, we've saved everybody. Brilliant. I guess we move on. Ah, you're actually going to come up, come up and be helpful this time. Well, thank you very much. I know it's saved everybody, so I don't really care too much. Whoops. I was going to say, I don't really care too much about the gems. I can't help myself normally. We're still going to go for them regardless, you know, if they're kind of close. 
Absolutely we'll go for them, but... At the moment we're in a pretty good situation. I mean, life-wise, health-wise, <clears throat> continue-wise, it's all good. Ah, I need an enemy here. Can I squeeze through with one of these? Wow, that was terrible damage. <laughs> can I just squeeze through? Yes, we can. And that activates our third engine out of three. There you have it, in uh, in Lunatia, that's where we are, right? Those three little engines can power that entire ship. Right, that was cool, I really liked that stage. <laughs> so um, it was a bit more puzzly, a um, bit trickier to navigate, but that's how I like it. I mean, the last few stages of the uh, first game were quite like that, and they were really, really good fun. Um, a much longer stage as well. I mean, I know there was a bit of chatting at the beginning, but that stage was like, what, 20 minutes? <laughs> Maybe more? Um, so I think that's a really good time to end this. Otherwise, this video, depending on the length of the next stage, is going to be an awful lot longer. Um, so we're going to leave it for, for now. But as always, thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.